Scott Owen's vehicular homicide trial went to the jury this afternoon. He's the drunk driver accused of killing four teens in a crash near Santa Fe two years ago. The jury started deliberating about 1.30 and quit for the day a short time ago. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live in Santa Fe. And Dick, in closing arguments today, a lot of emphasis was placed on testimony from witnesses and whether the friends of the victims who saw the crash told investigators the truth. The defense theory requires that you ignore every one of these witnesses and everything they say. More than half a dozen teens testified during the trial. They were following the car the victims were in, all on their way to a party. Some said they saw Scott Owens in the wrong lane, and the driver and sole survivor of the teen's car swerved to miss him. Prosecutors say Owens tried to get back into his lane and slammed into the teens. But today, the defense questioned how truthful those testimonies were, since the young witnesses were never split up before giving statements to detectives. He also narrowed his focus on one teen who called 911, who testified testified he saw one thing happen but told dispatch another story. I have no idea. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. Owens' attorney said during that call you can hear the teens arguing if one of their friends tried to pass the victim's car, possibly causing the crash. It is not possible for someone to know that Scott was the cause of the accident to then blame somebody else. The defense told jurors that could have been enough for not only the teen who was being blamed, but for her friends to pin the blame on Owens. But the state snapped back, saying there is no proof the other teen played any role in the crash, and not all of the teens had the same story. Some saw only portions of the crash. If you believe that they all got together in a huddle there on the side of the road in the midst of all that chaos and made stories up, I think they would have been a lot better stories than what eventually came out. And Owens doesn't have to be the main cause of the crash to be found guilty. The jury just has to find that his actions were a significant role in the collision. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, you always have to be careful trying to figure what a jury is thinking, but one of the alternates who was dismissed when the case went to the jury told a reporter from the Santa Fe New Mexican this afternoon that she didn't think the state proved that Owens was in the wrong lane.